Hi, um, my name's Paul Wellings, also known as DJ Made Hatter from the NME New Musical Express. Um, I'm an MC with the Anti-Social Workers, the, uh, the punk reggae rap collective. Um, I was a DJ with LWR Pirate Radio, um, one of the most sort of influential radio stations for breaking underground music, uh, particularly black music, and also I'm a Black Lives Matter activist. Um, today I want to talk about the launch of a new pressure group uh, called DJs Against Bigotry. Every month another well-known DJ is named and shamed in the press for racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic or transphobic comments online. The Guardian, DJ Mag and Mix Mag have run articles about DJs like Ten Walls comparing gay men to Irish paedophile priests. GFOTY for calling other artists like, quote, Bombay Bicycle Club blacked up, close quote. And I'm not sure about the pronunciation of this, but Bodica or Bodica, B O T T I K A, saying, quotes, if you can't speak English, fuck off, close quotes. Levon Vincent telling people to arm themselves after the Paris terrorist attacks. And Constantine's sexist remarks to a groove journalists. These people say these things and they get away with them. Now, DJ culture is the new rock and roll and by its nature is rebel music. So it's sad that my peers, superstar house DJs like Terry Farley, talk on Twitter about the group Stand Up to Racism, a very important um, uh, pressure group, as quotes, SWP wankers and rape apologists, close quotes, or superstar acid house DJ Danny Rampling, um, you know, he's, he's on Facebook going on his anti-lockdown marches. Um, and also the Northern Soul DJs waving their All Lives Matter banners. Now, I don't bear these people any malice at all, but I want them all to apologise, explain and change their behaviour. That is why, as an original pioneer of black underground uh, music, I'm announcing the launch of new pressure group, DJs Against Bigotry, with the tagline, Drop Beats, Not Bigotry. We aim to cancel or de-platform any DJ playing at festivals or clubs shown to be profiting from black culture, but not supporting Black Lives Matter, or if they've shown any other kind of bigotry. We urge other right-thinking DJs uh, to do the same. What, uh, you know, make their own banners, uh, do online campaigns, whatever you need to do. Pick at the clubs. Online is obviously the best way at the moment with the COVID restrictions. What I'm talking about isn't limited to a, a couple of house, de house music DJs or Northern Soul DJs. It's a story that's been with us for decades. As the mainstream music industry and the self-appointed guardians of black music have in practically every case gone out their way to separate the music from the culture that created it. This also has to change. Thank you.